Commitment 2018 coverage tonight, and as the clock ticks down to Election Day, we're bringing the candidates to voters via social media. Today on Facebook Live, WMER Political Director Adam Sexton sat down with Congresswoman Annie Custer as she seeks a fourth term in Congress. On Facebook Live, Congresswoman Annie Custer fielded a steady drumbeat of questions. Dear Ms. Custer, you swore an oath to protect and defend the U.S. Constitution. Can you tell us why you're not demanding that all illegal aliens, and there are millions of them, be deported as they have violated U.S. law by crossing over illegally? Well, just first and foremost, it's not practical. It's 11 million people, and I don't think we have the resources to send every single one of them. A lot of voters want to see an improvement in the tone of public discourse. Some on Facebook pressed Custer on the issue of bipartisanship. Jim Tiberio asks, do you agree with anything that our president has done? Yes, uh, what I agree on is the VA Mission Act that he signed into law. This was a bipartisan law to provide access to care in the community for our veterans. I worked specifically with Senator Sullivan from Alaska because we're uniquely situated without a full service hospital, making sure that every eligible veteran in New Hampshire can get access to care in a timely way. And I went to the White House for the signing ceremony. I was one of two Democrats and the president gave me a shout out for it. On health care, Custer does not support a public option, but does want to expand access through Medicare. My thought is let's lower the age of Medicare down to 55, you could go to 50, and have people buy into that system. So they would pay a premium monthly, but they would access that system. The Congresswoman also knocked her Republican opponent, Steve Negron, on the issue of abortion. He wants to ban it with no exceptions, even the life of the mother or uh, rape or incest. In my view of the world, I believe in choice. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.